Hey, look, we've both said a lot of things that uh, you're going to regret. I think we should put our differences aside for science, you monster. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Not Enough Tech. A couple of people mentioned that the Son of I've reviewed recently wasn't that useful. In fact, it was pretty useless because it's USB. Well, I listened to you people and, well, I thought I'm gonna fix this. So I figure out what I'm going to do next. I'm gonna take your advice and make this slightly more useful and by slightly more useful I mean that's gonna hurt a little bit okay I lied it's gonna hurt a lot A couple of things that I've not actually expected to see is how much space is actually inside this son of micro. If you open it up and remove the cover, you'll see that there is a fair amount of space that uh, it's pretty much empty. So I thought I'm gonna do something. I could take this apart and 3D print a much smaller uh, profile case, but because of the width of the PCB, it wouldn't really save that much space horizontal wise. So I thought I'm going to do something else. There was one way I could improve this by adding an USB Type C port. And while I'm aware that probably wouldn't be fully fledged USB Type C with old bells and whistles, it still makes it a fun project. Now, first, I had to test the pinout so I would know how to connect the cables and which are the power pins on the PCB and which are the data pins. I used the continuous mode to investigate this on my multimeter. Once I identified the pins, I could solder a couple of cables to connect these with USB Type-C board. Now you have to be very careful not to create the short, so once you finish soldering, investigate again everything with the multimeter. Since the cables are soldered to the bottom of the PCB, I had to find a way to wrap the cables around and route it to the top of it. And the easiest way was to remove a bit of PCB. Now, when the label says Son of Micro, there is no traces and you can cut this bit off, creating a slot for the cables. If I had more females USB adapters, I would heat it up and use it to actually burn through the hole. Instead of that, I've reheated the socket slightly just to mark the imprint of it and then use the drill to drill into the uh, enclosure using 3mm drill bit. In a hindsight, I should have moved the socket slightly to the top over the board so you would create a more space. It was still a bit tight so I've used a small file to finish off the job. You'll need 12 short wires to wire your USB Type-C. First we're going to start with VCC which is marked on the screen. Then there are four wires for ground as well because the connection is uh, reversible we have to duplicate those. Then we have a data pins and uh, this is D- minus and a D plus as well for two cables. Now solder these cables together and then uh, connect it with the wires coming out from the PCB itself. Take a look at this. This is how you would connect double cables to a single strand coming out from your PCB. When you're done with soldering and you've isolated wires, use glue to secure socket in place. There should be enough plastic to do it. Uh, I finished my off by heating up again the socket and melting it in into the plastic. Now it's time for a big test. Connect the USB, connect the adapter, and there you go. We have 5 volts available via USB Type-C. It is still BC1 charging interface, but it's cool. Apart from the slight misalignment of the USB Type-C port, it's a pretty fun a project. I think that would be so much better if you had USB Type-C port to begin with. But anyway, now it has one and I can use it if I want to. Not that it matters. Alright guys, 
I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in another video from me, you know how YouTube works. But if you want to get notifications, it's best to follow me on the social media of your choice, because you're gonna get notified whenever there is a next article as well. So you do that, and I'm gonna say my bye. So thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Ah, son of, we need to talk. You have another hole in your body. <laughs> see what's behind me. Seriously, you don't want to see what's behind me. This is so much mess. Oh, I can't believe I actually cleared the entire garage. <laughs> At least this part is presentable.